this is just one of our chores. We catch the rainwater in this uh, tub, and then I come out here, put it in these cans. This one's black and uh, it'll soak up the sun all day long and uh, by the end of the day it'll be warm enough for me to bathe with. Five gallons, that's more than enough. The other ones we use for washing clothes and, and stuff like that. The reason I'm showing you this system now is because we're fixing to change it. We're gonna upgrade to a better system but you've seen this before if you've been watching me for any length of time. Catch the water off the roof flows down the pipe, goes into an ICB tote. When that's full, we move the pipe, comes into this tub. You know, it's, it's far from perfect, uh, but it works. Water is life. And our goal is to catch water off of every roof surface that we have to be put to use in one form or another. Um, but like I said, we're fixing to uh, do something different. And I just kind of wanted to show you how we do it here. Um, so you'll have a, a comparison mode. Um, we put water in the, can you see it on this side, the blue Lowe's bucket. Uh, those Two of those go into the kitchen sink. We don't have water running into our sink yet. And, and so my wife uses those. She dips out of it to wash dishes and stuff. The little jug I showed you, we have several of those. Most of those we keep drinking water in. Uh, but the one that says non-potable, we put rainwater in. And that's just an easy rinse kind of thing. Um, you know, honestly, you probably could drink that water. Uh, one of you sent me a study done at University of Texas or something about the different kinds of roofs, roof surface, metal, composite, asphalt, you know, that kind of thing, and then the effects on rainwater for drinking, and really there was no difference, which kind of surprised me. I, I assumed metal would be better, but it's not. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today, and in yon background, I don't know if you can see it, Let's see, pick this up. Ooh, there we are. That's a deck I built recently. Um, just took a big pallet, leveled it. I stained the pallet first uh, with, you know, like deck stain, just for waterproofness and that kind of thing. Then I leveled it on bricks, and then I put decking boards on it, screwed them in, nailed the, or uh, stained it, and uh, it's a nice sturdy deck now. It's temporary permanent, you know, Nick Fouch, he, he got me clued in on that, but uh, that's how we come out and deal with things out on this side, and it's just nice to have something clean to step down on, and obviously, Suka likes it. All right, hey, um, a lot of people have been making comments like, how come you never post anymore? I'd like to see more of your videos. Hey, shameless plug, I'm posting a video almost every day on Patreon, and when I'm not posting videos, I'm blogging, I'm doing live video chat, uh, I put excerpts from my book out once a month. Uh, I'm trying to get a newsletter out once a month. Depending on what level you're at on Patreon, you can partake of those things. I'll put a link to it down below. And for those of you not into that, that's cool. Hey, it's a dollar a month, guys. You know, it's nothing. Um, but I just got tired of the censorship on YouTube. I just did a, a video the other day that YouTube would have ripped off of there about my response to uh, these attacks that have been happening. I'll just leave that there. Um, but I get to be me over there on Patreon more uh, without fear of reprisal by certain political entities. And so that's why I spend most of my time and effort uh, over there. If you're interested, come check us out. If not, I'm not leaving here. I'll be here occasionally, off and on. Um, we've got more things coming up. I've got some plans for some future videos here. Uh, so there you go. Hey, water is life. And you know, no matter where you live, you can catch water. I suggest you start thinking about that. All right, I'll see you out there.